as the saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try again. So we tried again and we made it to Greenland. And here we are in Taslik. It's absolutely fabulous. So we've left Taslik on Saturday today and we're heading to the Johan Peterson Fjord. We're going to try and make it up towards the glaciers there. Hopefully we'll see some carving. You can see just up here, this is like an iceberg factory where the icebergs are just coming out of the fjord. This is the view over the bow that I'm looking at. It's some view. The seas around Greenland are considered so dangerous due to the prevalence of icebergs and fog that any vessel entering its territorial waters must inform the Greenland Coast Guard of its voyage plan in advance and update them every six hours as to its position and situation. We did this through our satellite communication device and our SafeTracks live tracking portal so they could always see where we were. That was pretty beautiful, eh? It's like a sculpture. Navigated up the fjord to try and reach the glacier, but we've been thwarted by sea ice really. Uh, the big bergs are okay to navigate around, but the small pieces of ice now are it's just too big. Further up the fjord, the ice closed in, and if we went up any more, it would have been pretty dangerous as there wouldn't be room to turn or maneuver without coming into contact with a growler. Sometimes there would be a line of ice caused by a tide level that there was no way around, and the only solution was taking her out of gear before it and letting her drift through. Her exposed props were particularly vulnerable, and her hull sure as hell wasn't designed for going through any kind of heavy sea ice. Sometimes small burgy bits would drift down into the boat while she was at anchor, and we'd need to push them away. Sometimes the growlers could be hard to see if there was any kind of swell running, or if you were heading into the sun. We've got fog coming in now, so I think it's best to head back. But it's been absolutely fabulous here. This is Tasselak with Thunderchild anchored out in the bay. It's a beautiful spot. Today we're heading to Kulazak Island, which is just up the coast a little way north. There's a glacier there which we should be able to reach. Go up the fjord there to, to see the glacier. Dangerous? Oh. <laughs> well, you can tell with that reaction. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We wouldn't like you to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, we wouldn't we would either. <laughs> How fast do you go? 50. 55 oh. knots. Like. Oh. <laughs>
last day in Taslek. We spent four days here. And during that time, we've traveled around the fjords. There's plenty of mosquitoes here, by the way. We've traveled around the fjords and we've seen some fantastic icebergs and some glaciers. Um, so we'll be heading home tomorrow now, about five o'clock in the morning to Iceland. Some of the icebergs were truly massive, almost like city blocks. One had to be very careful about getting too close to an iceberg, as there was always the danger that it might suddenly fracture, break apart and roll over on top of Thunderchild. Some 90% of an iceberg is hidden under the water, and one could easily get caught out, as they can extend far out below the surface in the part you actually see. We could see this quite clearly from the drone, so we could judge where we could go, but you had to be really careful. Downwind or down tide from the berg, there would often be broken ice and growlers, so you had to steer well clear of this area. We had nice weather during our visit, but you had to remember the seawater temperature was only 1 to 2 degrees, just above freezing. And you're pretty much on your own should something bad happen, as the coastline is almost uninhabited. There are different types of ice in Greenland. We saw mostly young white ice carved from the ice shelf and glaciers. The most dangerous, at least for us in a small boat, was black ice. Black ice growlers float almost completely submerged and are transparent, so very difficult to spot, and they would put a hole in a hole pretty damn quick if hit at speed. Kenny is going to try and fly the drone through that hole. Good luck, Kenny. Here comes the drone, he did it. Well done, Kenny. I had it written off. Today we're heading to Reykjavik and then on to the Faroe Islands and it will be a two and a half thousand kilometre voyage home back to Ireland.